Hello, I'm Katherine Troutman. I'm president of The Resume Place and author of writing, writing the new SES guide. And I wanted to talk for just a couple of minutes on how to approach writing the ECQs for an SES application. And I chose an announcement here on USA Jobs National Background Investigations in Executive. This sounds like a really important position. Uh, closes 3.30. And I wanted to um, show you the instructions for how to apply and what is required. So I want to go down here to, to the requirements. And this is an IT position, so you have to have these competencies demonstrated, first of all. These are for all IT positions. This is evidently an IT job, really, executive IT. And here are the ECQ instructions. You have to submit them in narrative format for each ECQ. Each one has to be separately. Um, you have to do this or you'll be ineligible. And look at this. It says you have to limit your narrative to one and a half pages per ECQ. That's nice because sometimes they're full two pages, so it's a little bit shorter. So you have to write one and a half pages for each of these. We recommend that you write two examples for each. And then this particular announcement requires three technical qualifications narratives as well. So, oh, oh, one more. And you also have to write um, the DOD joint enterprise experience. So I think that's another narrative. Oh, look, it says, please do not provide a separate narrative. This information should be embedded in the resume. Okay. Oh, well, so don't forget joint enterprise-wide experience as well. So now in terms of writing your ECQs, the government, OPM, wants to see them in the context, challenge, action, and results format. We have a builder on our website that you can use to write your CCAR stories. You can put your story in here, your challenge, your context, your actions, and your results, and then you hit send, and it comes straight into your email. So I recommend that you look for this on our website. You can go to resources and free builders, and you will find it. If you want to have help with writing your ECQ package, you can fill out our questionnaire, and we can help you with writing the ECQs. Now, another important tip is that there are 28 leadership competencies that need to be covered in each of the ECQs. For instance, leading change, you've got to make sure that you show creativity and innovation, external awareness, flexibility. So these 28 competencies are very important, and they're in our book. And um, the, the SES guide is right here. Now, the way we recommend you start writing your ECQs is to, in our book, go up to chapter number two, uh, which is right here. Sorry, I went past it. So you write a short list of your top 10 accomplishments. Then you map your short list. And here's a sample of a short list of top 10. This book is available on our website at resume-place.com, also available on Amazon. Highly recommend the book to help you get started. So, this book includes a short top 10 and then a mapped top 10. Look, there's going to be another one. Look, we mapped them in. And then it shows how to expand them into the CCAR. And there you are. You have the examples of the CCAR mapped in to each of the accomplishments. So good luck with writing your applications. I hope this little tiny webinar helped you a little bit. Start with your top 10 and then expand it, map it, follow the CCAR cover the 28 competencies, and then if you want help with editing and development and ensuring that it's correct, come to the resume place. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Katherine Cheltman, author and publisher of the book, uh, Federal Career Coach, and with the resume place in Baltimore. Thanks, everybody. Good luck with your application.